Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain, another fantastic jazzware review today and all of the footage is provided by Kevin Hurd at Halo Collector. These guys have helped me out so much and today they're providing me with the footage of the two new three packs from Jazzware World of Halo. That's right, three packs and these things are fantastic. Just awesome army builders for your Halo Infinite dioramas. Here's all of the World of Halo Series 3 on the back, there are just so many epic figures. Kevin's gonna tear into this and show off each figure one by one. I'm gonna give my first opinions and we're gonna start with the Banished 3 pack and this Grunt Assault. I love this thing. Like, I've been using this toy in Mega Constructs for over a year and it's great to see it just in that standard sort of I think the orange is standard issue at this point for the grunts, but I really like it. Like, it's got that beautiful little disruptor gun, which most people, unless they are uh, hacked into the game, have not been able to use in Halo Infinite yet. I'm excited to give it a test, and it does make me think, is this going to be a standard issue weapon for the grunts? This is the two grunt assaults side by side, the red one from the shade turret. And you can see there's a lot more paint applications on this new one, particularly the blue lighting all around its mask and backpack. This is really fantastic, like a big step up. We can also see scratch marks all across his tank and just a load of really nice silver etching around his armor. It's a very, very detailed figure. I'm impressed, honestly, and it seems like Jazzware's budget is increasing. I think this one looks fantastic as well. This elite mercenary in red. I know all you collectors out there are a sucker for banished red and so am I. This elite looks awesome, like really menacing. And here he is compared to another World of Halo Elite. There are some subtle changes when comparing these two, particularly the tone of their skin, but this one has a lot to offer, man, like a lot of different shades all across his body. <laughs> then we've got this Grunt Miner, which is also a really fantastic figure. Just look at that needle. Comparing him side by side with the other Grunt from this pack, they are brothers in arms, and he also kind of matches the Elite that we showed earlier that is also released in Jazzware World of Halo. This Grunt looks so cute, man. <laughs> like, grunt, Grunts are cute, okay? I like the dark gray detailings, and again, those subtle little blue lights really go a long way in terms of detail. They both also, Kevin wants me to point out, that they have a lot more detail on their feet and toes. A lot more paint application compared to old Jazzware figures. So it seems like the budget for Jazzware World of Halo is stepping up. We've got this this grunt assault with a ton of details and those blue lights really do make him stand out. Same with this grunt conscript. I do love that purple color as well. I think orange is my favorite, but then for the elite, We've got to, we've got to love that red, okay? That banished red is just so angry and full of intimidation and fear. Yes, they do come with these base plates. I, I don't mind them, but you would need a considerable amount of them to make any kind of real base plate, like any kind of large scale battle. Side by side, it is clear that you need this three pack to start army building your banished forces. It is outrageously cool. And on to the UNSC Marine three pack. Oh man, even since the days of McFarlane, I've dreamed of a pack like this. Three UNSC Marines all matching. This seems like it's some kind of mega construct set, you know, like a Yankee squad. We got that Spanker rocket launcher, Reach looking assault rifle and battle rifle, and these Marines are ready to take the fight to the Banished. They're just awesome. I promise you guys, the second I see these in a store, I will buy two or three of them instantly, because this is the best you will ever get for army building your marines, which are the very core of Halo. So let's start by taking a look at all three of them side by side with their base plates. It's nice that you get a variety of base plates, all different terrain. I especially like that rocky one on the right. And, you know, the Marines are almost identical, aside from the helmet in the middle. Let's take a look at the standard Marine first. Obviously, the thing that stands out is that camo. It is gorgeous. I imagine it's different for every single Marine. It's printed very randomly, it seems. The back as well just shows off that camo. It's very, very nice. Like... 
That seems like some real military camo, like they do not want to be noticed by the banished on Zeta Halo. I love the assault rifle with that green in the middle and the white stripe. And the mask is very reminiscent of the Halo 4 5 design to me. Here's the second one with his battle rifle. And at first glance, you may have thought that these two Marines were the same, but no, they have very slightly, very subtly different helmets, which goes a long way in terms of design. I have mad respect to Jazzware for doing that. This Marine has has a fantastic ammunition belt and a sidekick pistol on his side and even on the back just just a lot of detail man a three pack for such an affordable price and you get so much here is our basic marine with battle rifle and yes the other marine did come with a kukri knife on his chest this one does not but this ah that lime green visor as well. I'm in love, but I'm in even more love with this sergeant. This is one of the most realistic military faces I've seen on a scaled figure this big. Like, this is really nice. I love it. And I love that the sergeant has a massive spanker rocket launcher. Not so much painted detail on that one, but that's okay. There is so much painted detail in this set. I'm not going to criticize it for a second. And he does have a kukri knife on his chest as well. Here's all three of them side by side. What a fantastic three-pack, guys. I'm in love. Like, I'm simply in love. I'll write a love letter to this three-pack. I don't know which one is my favorite. Of course, the Banished set has a little more variety. All of this footage was provided by Halo Collector. I cannot thank Kevin enough. We're still working on halocollector.com and we'll be dropping more news soon. And here is the Banished three-pack, Grunt Assault, Elite Mercenary, and Grunt Conscript and then three UNSC Marines, including a Sergeant. The Banished are ready to fight for control on Zeta Halo, but they're gonna have some serious resistance from these three UNSC Marines, all from Jazzware World of Halo. This has been another video with The Domain, and keep it with this channel for all your Halo collecting news and reviews.